Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com and today we've got a great one. We're going to learn how to do Beth from KISS. So this one's obviously on piano, so we're going to be doing a guitar arrangement of all the piano parts. Um, for the most part, it's going to be relatively easy to play, even though it's got some probably some chord forms in it you might not be very familiar with. Uh, the only difficult thing is where we're trying to recreate some of those piano melodies and keep the harmony going. Um, I'll, I'll kind of simplify that a little bit for you to give you a couple options. Now before I get into it though, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And when we, you see me release a new video, please like the video, comment on the video. It really help me out with the YouTube algorithm. It helps the video get to more people and it helps support this channel. It's kind of the best way um, if, if you're just a YouTube you watcher, you know, support the people you watch. Even me or anybody else. Um, and um, if you really want to support what I do on YouTube, actually the best way to do it, uh, the ideal way to do it is join my Guitar Academy. It's what keeps me going. You'll see a link to it in the description below. It's the GL365 Academy. It's basically my online guitar school. It contains all my guitar courses covering everything from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, and theory. There's a complete guitar tone course. Uh, you get personalized support from me, plus uh, I go live every week with Academy members. Just a live video chat with just Academy members. It's kind of a small group of people, so you can get your questions answered in real time with uh, over video. So it's it's pretty cool. I do that every Saturday. All right, so hope to see you there. So let's jump into the track. I'm in standard tuning here, and we're going to have this little intro, which is probably going to be the, the most challenging part of the song to play. It looks like this. Alright, so we're going to start this around a C major chord, so uh, when it's a standard, just basic open position chord, I'm not going to like show you where to put each one of your fingers. You can get that on my website, just go to guitarlessons365.com, click on beginners, be beginner lessons, and then you'll see each one of these chords broken down in like really detail with charts and everything. But um, not not this place for it right here. We're just going to learn the song. But if it's a if kind of a more unique way of playing a chord, I will definitely show you how to play it um, kind of in depth. So we, we are going to start with a regular C major, except we're going to, what is kind of odd about this one is you're going to put your uh, the pinky up here at the third fret on the high E string to kind of get that high G that they have in the piano. All right, so under that, it's a C major chord. Regular C major, still a C major, but we're going to have a G up on top. Now from there, we're gonna do this. So, basically what's going on, we just have this C major and we had this melody. Going across it. So that's just the first fret on the high E, to the open high E, to the third fret on the B, to the first fret on the B. But we wanna keep that C major underneath it. So in order to do that, we're gonna strum across the C major, but watch, I'm gonna bar this index finger across the high E string at first. And then you can just pick up, pick up that bar, so you just kind of roll your finger back onto the tip there. So it's just, it's still holding that first fret on the B string, but it's now it's a standard um, C major chord. Now as you're holding that, then you can play the melody note there on the third fret of the B then down to the first fret there on the B, which you're already holding. So we have this. I kind of like to hit the chord a little bit more than that. So if you, I'm just kind of strumming through it, keeping that the harmony going while I play that, so. And then it's going to switch to a to an F major chord with C in the bass. So it's F major second version. So what you're going to do here, just keep holding this C. The C is really held through most of the intro here in the bass. But instead of now keeping that regular C major chord there, you're going to play the third fret there on the um, D string, second fret there on the G, and then bar the first fret across the B and the high E. 
So what he's doing here is when we get to this, uh, so we're basically going. You kind of strum across that F chord from the fifth string across to the G string. That's the melody note. And then go up and hit the high E string that you're already borrowed at the first fret. Kind of, that's the mud. We have this. Not to be exact, it's just an arrangement. So it's obviously a piano part, so you're not going to get it exactly right. Then there's a line that goes like this. So that line is has a C under it. But you can't keep that going with that um, C internet, not on guitar at least. So that's why I had to kind of leave that shape of the, the root note real quick. So let me just show you that real quick. So you're going to play the open B to the open G string. Then the first fret on the B to the second fret on the G. Move that up two frets. And then if you want, you can actually just move this up three frets from there to the next, or you can just do what I did and grab it down here. The reason I did it down here is the first fret on the high E to the third fret down the B. It's easier to grab the C chord coming up again. So just kind of like that, just kind of start it over. Now, if you want to keep that C in the bass, um, all you got to do is just kind of cheat the piano melody. Play the top note. You can kind of, kind of do that. So that's kind of like an easier way that still sounds pretty similar. You don't, you don't have that going on with it though. Um, so like I said, it's an arrangement so you can get away with it. So if you want, you hold that C and just do, hold the C and just go open B string to the open G, first fret on the B to the open G, third fret on the B to the open G, and then since you're already holding that, you can just then go and play the first fret on the high E, go across to that third fret there on the B again. So with this, and then start start over. Sorry. Now the second time through, when you do this, instead of kind of going across it, it, it the melody is more prominently like from the G string to the B string. It just sounds closer to it. And then it's going to just go to this G add 9 chord. So how do you play that? So we're going to, uh, you can play the third fret on the high E string, open B. Second fret there on the G string, that's the nine. Open D. Now you can play the open A with it as well, not essential. And then third fret on the low E string. All right, so all together for the intro. Then we get to the first verse. Now that intro, by the way, is going to be played multiple times throughout the song. So I know it's kind of uh, probably the mo obviously the most intricate part of the song. Less, the rest of it is pretty much just strumming. Um, but it's important to spend that much time on it since it happens so many so often throughout the track. So we have this for the uh, verse. get that A minor, we're going to consider that the chorus. It's not a really strict first chorus, first chorus thing in this song. Um, so we have, 
starting with a C major chord. Then it goes to a, it's a D minor seventh and third inversion. Um, some people just call it D minor over C. Either way. So um, all you can think about is that uh, D minor chord, basic D minor chord, but then still keep that C that we've been doing earlier in the bass. So I just go from that C major and just leave this finger here and play a D minor on top. Then it's gonna go to a C major seventh chord. So this is easy. It goes, it's that's played like a normal C major chord, but pick up the index finger. So this is an open B string. So we have this. From there we're gonna go to an A minor chord. Then a G major. Then an F major, you're gonna just do a bar chord. You can do it like this. Um, it wouldn't sound bad doing just the regular F. It's just kind of a small bar because the next chord is gonna be kind of a smaller voicing anyway, just to make it playable on the guitar. So it wouldn't sound bad just to do this kind of F instead of doing the big bar or having that. But whatever way you you, you like the sound of, but it's going to be an F. Me and the boys are playing. All right. So then the next chord is a G dominant seventh chord with F in the bass. So it's a G dominant seven and third inversion. Now the um, once again you probably hear this called. G over F. So, some people like to kind of call them as slash chords, but um, we have this bar at the third fret. That's all you need to do across the top four strings, and then add the fourth fret on the B string and, and uh, on top of it. So, I have this. So right there, that's a C major chord. After the after the uh, the G7, we're gonna have another inversion. So it's a C major chord, but you're gonna have E in the bass. So it's C major and first inversion. So it's that regular C major chord, just let the open E ring with it. From there, we're gonna go to an E sus4 chord. Now, if you don't know what that is, you probably know what an E major is. I hope you do, because it's the next chord. So we have this E major chord, right? All you do is the note that's on the G string there, the first fret on the G, move it up to the second fret. So it's an A. So it's an A sus4. I'm sorry, E sus4. I'm moving that G sharp up to the A. And then we're just gonna resolve that down to the E major, standard E major. All right, so for the whole verse here, we have this. Alright, now we get to what I'm calling the chorus at least. Let's say this. Just a few more hours and I'll be right home to you. I think I hear them calling. Oh, Beth, what can I do? Beth, what can I do? Alright, so that starts with an A minor chord. G back to that F major be right home to you to an E minor so can I review those real quick just a few more hours and I'll be right home to you from there we're going to go to a D7 chord so we're just kind of come over here open D string second fret there on the G First fret on the B, second fret on the high E string. Think I hear them 
Then we're going to go to an F6. What is that? It's pretty simple. We're going to have the third fret there on the D, second on the G. There's the six there. It's the D note right there, which is the uh, third fret on the B string. And then you're just going to double the F up top. So I think I hear them calling. And then to, that F6 is just hit once, and then into a G real quick. So we have. And then we're gonna take it to an A minor chord. Oh, Beth, what can I do? There's a little pause there. So let's go through them again until we get to that pause. Just a few more hours, and I'll be right home to you. Go ahead and call it. Oh, Beth, what can I do? All right, then we're gonna hit the A minor one more time down to a G, A minor, G, to the F again. Uh, I'll just play this part real quick so you can get it in your head and um, and then we'll we'll learn how to do it. Beth, what can I do? Beth, what can I do? So that, hit the A minor again, quick passing chord on the G, then to the F, and then what we're doing here, it's a G7 sus4. So we first place the second in the chord with the, I'm um, sorry, the third in the, in the chord with the fourth. So how do you do that? So just bar the high E string and the B, open G, open D, and then you're gonna have the third fret there on the low E. So use that finger to mute that A string. And from there, we're just gonna resolve it to a C. So. So all together with the chorus. Just a few more hours And I'll be right home to you So we go through all that again, uh, same verse, same chorus, um, and then it gets to the, really the piano solo section. All that is, obviously I'm not going to do the piano solo, we're going to have, the, it's the intro, that kind of melody again. So just like the intro, and then the second time around. When you get to that chord a second time around, so basically the end of the intro instead of going to that to that G add nine uh, it keeps going it, it skips that chord and goes to that E7 I'm sorry E7 what am, what am I thinking today E sus4 to the E major so the very end of the verse and then it just plays the chord progression for the the chorus so that's underneath the piano solo so that's what's going on just the intro and then the last two chords out of that intro the last two chords of the verse and then the uh, chords for the chorus, and you'll be good uh, to go. Then the only thing that's a little bit different is the very end of the song. Um, it's a little bit shortened verse. It looks like this. Now here, it's just going to be kind of like that F instead of going to the that that kind of G7 it just goes to the F and then it's just a normal G7 so we can just play the high E string first fret open B open G open D and open uh, I mean sorry second fret on the A the A string and then third fret on the low E so and then back to the intro and we're gonna just end that intro again with just the G7 to the C. So the intro, it's also the outro. So nothing new to learn there. So that's just a very little quick little thing they do to end the song. 
Uh, but it's a nice little track, and it's got some cool chords in it, and it works really well. It's just a standard, um, you know, kind of a singer-songwriter type thing with this uh, one acoustic guitar and stuff. So it worked pretty well, and it's not overly difficult to play. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.